Tonight, the Master Shrine opens its doors for a night of romance. Love is in the air. But there's no love lost in the kitchen. I need salt. I told him. What do you mean, Tony? Just have him do it. Come on. And the pressure to impress is greater than ever. All the tables are now full, except one. That table is reserved for my gorgeous wife, Tana. Oh, my god. Our dish better be perfect. Walking into the kitchen, I'm just thinking about how much I miss my husband and how much I miss cooking for him. We just got married three months ago. I know he supports me and will be so thrilled that I made it to the top 12. Welcome, everyone. Tonight, you will all compete in the team challenge, but you won't be going anywhere to cook the food for this challenge. Tonight, the diners will come to us. We have a world-class restaurant behind us. It's as beautiful as any dining room you'll find in America. This evening, every table is sold out. The theme of tonight's challenge is love. The tables in our restaurant will be filled with 17 couples that are madly in love with each other. I've been with my girlfriend, Odile, for almost four years, and she's the world to me. Being able to cook for all of these happy couples, it feels like the closest thing I can have to seeing my girlfriend right now. Tonight, romance is on the menu. You 12 home cooks will be split into two teams of six. Each team will be responsible for creating and cooking a stunning composed entree and an equally impressive dessert, both worthy of this very special occasion. And then each couple will decide together which team delivered the best overall dining experience. The team with the most votes will not have to face that dreaded upcoming pressure test. Elizabeth and Aran, because you had the two best dishes in the last elimination challenge, you will be team captains. I'm not a fan of this challenge because I've never been on a date before. So the fact that I have to cook a romantic dinner, I'm not too excited. <laughs> Now, Elizabeth, because you had the best dish in the previous challenge, you get to pick first. I'm choosing Francis. Francis. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. I pick Francis first because he's such a passionate person, and with the challenge being all about love, he's totally going to rock this. OK, Iran. I'm choosing this person because he's an amazing cook, and he's also one of my best friends here, Big Willie. Big Willie. Wow. <laughs> Um, Elizabeth, second pick. Frankly, if I were going to eat a dessert, I'd want this person to make it, and that's why I'm choosing Jamie. Wow. Jamie. Right, next pick. Christine. I choose Christine because she's a phenomenal cook. She has a great personality, and she's amazing on Team Challenges. I need someone that can rock a protein like nobody's business, so I want Victoria. Wow, that's Victoria. It, <laughs> Christian. Christian, welcome to the red team. Thank you. Courtney. Wow. Yeah. Next pick. After working with him last time, I noticed if he just has a direction, he does everything very well. Leslie. Wow. <laughs> what a turnaround. Right, next pick. I would really like to work for Elizabeth. I haven't won a single team challenge. I just need to win this one. Daniel, please wow. come join me. Daniel. <laughs> Bye. Please, if you up the apron, go and join your teams. I'm not going to say I'm not nervous that I'm going in there with Leslie, but if we're going to work together, let's put everything behind us and let's focus on winning, because if we lose, we're in a pressure test. In this next challenge, you can choose from the finest, luxurious proteins. Striped bass, filet mignon, rack of lamb, even lobster. For your dessert, you have everything at your fingertips to help your dishes shine. You will each have 60 minutes to prep before you have to serve your entrees. An hour after your entree goes out, you will have to send your incredible romantic desserts into the dining room. Now, is everybody ready? Yes, Chef! Your 60 minutes starts now. Okay, so let's do the lobster. For the side of the lobster, what about like a risotto? Are you comfortable with that? Yeah. Take one, I got one. The idea is two parts. Everything on the plate is beautiful and red and gorgeous, so I want to use the filet. Let's go, guys. 
I'm feeling really good. The menu that we plan is very romantic. We're doing a lobster risotto topped with a butter poached lobster. And for the dessert, we're going to make a raspberry milk chocolate tiramisu. Trey lobsters behind you, Leslie, coming up. You got it, man. I have Leslie and uh, Cutter working on the lobster. Yeah, that's perfect. Christine and Christian working on the risotto. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three more. Here, Joe. Three. And you know, I'm working on dessert with Willie. So I feel really good. I think even though I'm the youngest one here, they all, like, respect me, and I respect them, too, and I think it's going to work out really well. I have a team full of complete rock stars, every single person. We are doing a medium-rare filet with a beet and potato puree. And for our dessert, we're making a beautiful sponge cake with a salted caramel layer, a dark chocolate layer, a strawberry layer, and a nut layer. Victoria is prepping steak. Woo. Daniel is starting on the reduction. Jamie's heading up dessert, and Courtney and Francis and I are just kind of general prep work. I have not yet been on a losing team, and I, I don't think that that's going to happen today. Hey, wrong pot, wrong pot. Oh, wrong pot, wrong pot. That's all right, I would have got it. Those look awesome, Victoria. Thank you. So, tonight, we're going to have a room full of romance. When you're taking your wife out for a romantic dinner to celebrate, you know, an anniversary. Mm -hmm. What do you do to create romance? Uh, first thing we do is uh, leave the kids behind. Check into hotel. <laughs> uh, have the most amazing pink champagne. And what's and the, the dinner? Maybe oysters to start, mm -hmm. yep. oysters scallops. Yep. And then for our main course, um, a big treat for us would be uh, a fillet beef wellington nice. to share. I got it. I got it. Grady cheese? I got it. All right. So the red team is doing a lobster risotto a dish we see very often. Risotto can take you to great heights or it can drag you to the right. bottom. Here's the jeopardy. Risotto, when it's ready, it's mm -hmm. got to go. It doesn't hold. Yeah. Lobster becomes rubbery. You bring those two elements on the same plate, so a if it's lot. not perfect, it's you've completely yeah. lost every vote. Do you need another bowl or you're good? I'm good. OK. Blue team, headed by Elizabeth, going with filet mignon. Smart. Love filet. It is probably the most popular dish eaten on Valentine's Day. The jeopardy there, of course, is unforgiving yeah. as a protein. It doesn't hold well. You can't refire it too long. So where the red team has got jeopardy with the lobster, okay. blue team has got jeopardy yeah. with the filet. 30 minutes gone. 30 minutes remaining. Throwing them in. Yeah. Speed up, guys, please. Everybody, the Master Chef restaurant is open. Our first VIPs are streaming into the restaurant. Your food better be perfect. We're celebrating our third year anniversary. Me and Shauna are celebrating our 15th year anniversary. We've been married 65 years, and we're looking forward to a delicious meal. So when you start doing the sides, yeah. let the lip of the pan help you out. There you go. How's the lobster? Almost done? No, it's not done. I'm going to taste it. It needs salt. Come on, you guys got to start tasting your Man, I told him. What do you mean, told him? Just help him do it. He said he had it. No, you both got it. It's not if he had it. Christian, we got it. We got it, Christian. Red team, blue team, attention, please. All the tables in the MasterChef kitchen are now full, except one. That table is reserved for the single most important person in the world. Flying over 6,000 miles tonight just for this dinner. Please, welcome. My gorgeous wife, Tana. Aww. All the tables in the MasterChef kitchen are now full, except one. That table is reserved for the single most important person in the world. Flying over 6,000 miles tonight just for this dinner. Please, welcome. My gorgeous wife of 18 years, Tana. <laughs> Turns out it's his wife, who's stunning, by the way. Way to go, Gordon Ramsay. The guy does everything right. She walks in, and she's wearing kick-ass heels. She's simply gorgeous. Man, didn't I do well? <laughs> Thanks, you're welcome. Thank you. Now, Tana has flown all the way from London, especially to be here tonight, because I promised her a great dinner. In my book, there's only one thing worse than disappointing me, and that's disappointing my amazing wife. You've all got 
just under 10 minutes. Good luck. Good luck. Guys, let's go, you guys. Woo! Mrs. Ramsey has flown all the way from London to have this meal that my team is preparing. If we screw this up, I'm on a plane to New York, probably tomorrow. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Thank you. How was the flight? Very good, thank Excellent. you. Good evening. Nice to see you. Wow. Excited? So are we. Happy anniversary. Would you mind if I do something very important? Yeah. I just want to kiss my wife. <laughs> you can follow suit, by the way. <laughs> Come on, then. Who's next? Seven minutes left, guys. Let's go. <laughs> How long on the meet, Victoria? It's coming. Do you want to do a test plate right now? Yeah, copy that. Whoa. Too rare. Holy mother of God. It's like rare. Inching on mooing. Ugh, these are all rare. What do you need then? Whoa, shoot. Is your oven up? Uh, yes, Daniels is up. Crank it up. We really got to hurry. Underneath you? Our whole team is riding on these trays of fillets that I'm starting to think are not going to be cooked enough. Thank you. Two minutes to go, guys. That food needs to be on the plate and start getting wiped and finished. Guys, this is how I need the plates to look. Give me the lobster. Give me the lobster. Let's go. Let's go. Put the lobster on the plate. Let's go, guys. Pull it together. This is it. Behind you. You want to just put a whole fillet? Just do the whole fillets. Blue team, 30 seconds. Get it on the plate. Finish it with the sauce. I need one more piece of meat. We got four more to go. Let's do it. Ten, nine, two more. eight, two seven, more. Two six, more. Six, nope. five, right four. There. Three, Ow. two, one. Hands in the air. Hands up. Here come the servers. Fingers crossed. I think those steaks are a little under. I'm sorry, man. Well, I see these steaks going out, and I know that these steaks could be incredibly rare. Good to see you. And could go to Mrs. Ramsey, and I am horrified. Next course, guys. One hour until desserts go out, guys. Clean up your stations. Clean up. Switch out. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Enjoy. Lovely. What do you think for the red tea and lobster risotto? Lobster oh, yeah. looks beautiful, doesn't it? It does. Beautiful. The risotto doesn't actually taste of lobster. I just think, yeah. it's like, for me, slightly too much onion. Mm -hmm. um, but the actual lobster is delicious. Mm. Really nice. And for the beef? Poutine's filet mignon with a golden beet mash, red wine sauce. It does look nice. Great sear on the beef. Let's see how it's cooked. I do like it pink in the middle, but that's incredibly rare for me. That's rare, don't you? Really the outside? Yeah. I'm sorry. The beef puree is delicious. Is it? I don't think I've had that, and that's really nice, as are the, uh, the mushrooms. Yeah. Good evening, folks. Hello. My name is Joe. I heard it's your 65th wedding anniversary. How was the meat? I could stand it a bit more done. It was a little bit but rare. But it is good. I liked it. You liked it. You like it that way. The best steak I've ever had. The best steak you've the ever had. The best steak I've ever had. Wow. We don't but agree on amazing. everything. <laughs> we'll check on desserts. Leave that for, like, three more minutes. Not a problem. The key to this tiramisu is really making sure that the cake is kind of compressed together so that it's really smooth and creamy. Things are going according to plan. We're dicing up strawberries, cutting the cake circles, and making a pastry cream. But the clock is just ticking down, and I'm worried we're not going to be able to do everything in time. Guys, under 15 minutes until your incredible desserts hit the dining room. We've got less than 15 minutes, y'all. Get something on the plate, guys. I'm looking at the clock, and I'm like, Iran, we got 17 plates to make. Explain to me what we need to do so I can start something so we can get these dishes out. Now, you're putting that on the white? Cutter, do not freak out. Well, I'm not freaking out. I'm just put that on here. As we're working on the tiramisu, we realize that the way we want to plate it in our minds is not the way we want to plate it on the real plate. It needs to kind of come out. I know what you mean. This is, this doesn't, you gotta build layers like a lasagna. Look, they can see the layers. Let's get a dish. Come on, we gotta quit arguing, y'all. Let's go.
with only minutes to go before desserts are served in the MasterChef Restaurant Team Challenge. Better? Perfect. Okay. The blue team is getting their dish together. Cutter, do not freak out. I'm Just not freaking out. I'm asking. And the red team seems to be falling apart. You got to build layers like a lasagna. Look, they can see the layers. Let's get a dish. Come on, we got to quit arguing, y'all. Let's go. Red team, blue team, I look forward to tasting your desserts. Let's go. Do we have any more cakes? Behind you. Stop it here. Wow, it's very intense in there. Let's go, guys. 60 seconds. Oh, my God. More chocolate on this one. Right here, right? Let's go. I need quickly. Focus. Presentation. Taste. We need pastry cream. Oh, that's beautiful. 10, 10 yes. 9, on your right. 8, on your right. 7, more chocolate. 6, one. 5, right one, more. One, more. One, more. Three, one more. 3, 2, Come on. 1. Stop. Hands up. He's up. Good job, everybody. High five. Servers are coming in. Our team's tiramisu looks very pretty and elegant, so I'm feeling really confident on this one and happy about it. Our dessert plates look amazing. Beautiful layer of strawberries and the little whipped cream with the cocoa on top. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Red team's dessert? Yeah. Visually, what do you think, though? It's quite yeah. messy, isn't it? It looks a little bit clumsy. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll be blown away with the taste. It does feel does, light. Does it? Mm. Yeah. Chocolate's mm. delicious. Chocolate's delicious. Can you taste the raspberry? No. All right, uh, blue team. Visually, what do you think? I think it looks pretty with the strawberries like that. Too many strawberries for me. I mean, it's quite a big clump on there. This certainly has uh, mm -hmm. much more flavour to it. Salted caramel at the bottom is delicious. Mm -hmm. Chocolate mousse, and then the cake is wonderful. It doesn't need all that cream. Definitely not. I think, as you can see, we're eating around the cream, mm. which is always a bad sign. Beautiful evening. There seems to be a lot of romance in the air. How long have you guys known each other? We've been together for three years. A lot of anniversaries here. It's a very special night. Yeah. What's your assessment of the evening? It's a very inspiring night, and I think that tonight is the best night to ask a very important question. Jessica, will you marry? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a proposal in the dining room, which I think went positive. Awesome. Big round of applause. I love you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, very shortly our servers will come around and distribute the check holder to each table. You will have to decide together on which team to vote for, the red team or the blue team. The team that you prefer, please leave that color in the check holder. Thank you so much for joining us in the Master Chef restaurant. We look forward to hearing your opinions. The red team's lobster was cooked perfectly. The steak was amazing. I think I like the tiramisu better. I like that one better. I preferred mine. You preferred yours? Well, I like them both. No, that doesn't work. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome for our incredible, talented home cook. <laughs> this was a magical evening for everyone in the restaurant, but for one of these two teams, the night will not be ending on such a high note. One team will be facing the dreaded pressure test. The team that had the most votes. Almost a landslide. With just over 75% of the votes. Congratulations to... The blue team, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe that we won. I just wish that my husband could see me now. It's like the craziest moment of my life. 
Amazing. Well done, Elizabeth. Uh, well done, blue team. Uh, red team, unfortunately, the whole team will now face the dreaded pressure test. I definitely feel like I let my team down, and I feel like, as a team captain, I should have done much better. Please head back into the MasterChef kitchen and clean up the red kitchen and the blue. Let's go. I was a failure today, and it sucks. Blue team, I'd like all of you to go and get a glass of champagne from the bar. It's time for me to escort my stunning wife home. Please. Let's go. After losing the Master Chef Romantic Dinner Challenge, the red team awaits a pressure test where at least one home cook will be sent home. Oh, man, here we go. Pressure test, black aprons. I'm getting tired of wearing black, bro. <laughs> what you think went wrong? I didn't think anything went wrong. I thought we were on the money. I had to do what I had to do with the lobster. You know, I, I did, you know, forget the herbs and stuff and the butter, but you know what? There were other people next to me that could have uh, said something to me. You know, I was busy killing, you know, what, 23, 24 lobsters, knife to the head. It's a new day, survival of the fittest now. I'm going into this pressure test feeling real confident because I've been in three pressure tests already. This makes number four. This is not my first rodeo. This is my first pressure test, and I'm scared. I could be going home. This is not good. Right, let's get one thing right. Last night, we asked you all to cook a stunning, romantic dinner. Blue team, you had the restaurant's favorite dishes. More than three quarters of the votes. And that's why you six home cooks are all up on the gallery safe from elimination. Seriously, well done. Thank you, Chef. Unfortunately for the six of you standing here in front of us, the morning after is going to hurt because tonight you will all face the dreaded pressure test. Last night, you all served a romantic dinner. And what's the perfect thing to round off a night like that? A glorious, decadent box of beautiful chocolates. Nine absolutely perfect, handcrafted gourmet chocolate truffles. We're asking you for nine high-end chocolate truffles. To get those truffles right, you're going to need a lot of technique. The chocolate has to be melted to the perfect consistency. Smooth, not grainy, with just the right amount of sweetness. And your filling has to be spot on in flavor and texture. Don't forget, these truffles have to be visual feasts for our eyes as well as our palates. Anything less, and you could be leaving the MasterChef kitchen. It's time to head to your stations. These hand-baked steak and ribs and drink beer, you know what I mean? They don't make truffles. In front of you, you all have the exact same ingredients to make basic truffles. Chocolate, heavy cream, sugar, and butter. You also have use of a pantry chock full of ingredients that you can use to decorate your truffles. You all have just one hour to make us a box of nine perfect chocolate truffles. And you must have at least three different types of truffles in your box. OK, is everyone ready? Yes, yes sir. sir. Your one hour starts now. Watch out. We've got some coffee here. I think this is honestly the hardest one we've ever so had. So far. Even for the most accomplished home cook, chocolate is very, very challenging. Chocolate truffles is very difficult. The chemistry, it's precision, it's not familiar ground. Even for the most accomplished home cook, but it's about that ratio, that chocolate, that butter, and that cream. You know, insufficient cream, they're too hard. Insufficient butter, then it's just pure chocolate. But more importantly, the coating. Now, you can go down the easy route and dust it with cocoa powder. You can temper chocolate, get that nice sheen on it, and dip them.
I'm gonna do a dark chocolate mint truffle and a milk chocolate and orange and coconut. And then I'm still working on my third round. I have a couple options, but I don't know yet. Definitely out of my element. I'm making a sea salt chocolate truffle, a cinnamon coffee truffle, and a almond crunch truffle. In 60 minutes to do all this, it's really crazy. I'm making a dark chocolate truffle, kind of Japanese inspired with takarachi and orange. I've never made truffles before, so I'm just hoping that it all comes together. What's going on, Christian? What is the plan? What are you doing? Well, my first truffle is going to be an eggnog brandy truffle. My next truffle is going to be a uh, chocolate covered pretzel truffle. And last but not least, the chocolate bacon truffle. So, yeah. Christian, you feel confident? I've never done truffles before, but we shall see. Don't burn the bacon. Yeah, what's that? Yes, sir. Use your imagination. They need to look stunning. <laughs> Leslie, uh, fourth time in a row in a pressure test. Truffles, ever made them before? No, I usually go to Beverly Hills to get my truffles for my wife. What are the actual three styles? I want to use the brandy in the dark, and then I was thinking of throwing a little cayenne pepper in the milk because chocolate and heat is very sexy. Okay. You know, and I'm throwing truffles in my wife's mouth. I want her to feel hot. Rule number one, happy wife, happy life. Good luck with these truffles. Thank you. Third pressure test cutter. Yep. You ever made truffles before? Of course not. So what do you think? Is this a tough challenge? Yeah, not only is it tough, you know, dealing with chocolate because it's so temperamental, but also being in the pressure chest just adds to it. Okay, who's going home? If I don't get this right, it's definitely me. I mean, there's no if, ands, or but about it, so I'm not worried about I it. I agree. I mean, everyone's saying that you're going home, so yeah, you, sure. that should be more incentive for you yeah, to prove exactly. wrong, right? Dig in. 36 minutes remaining. All right, what's the flavor? Um, one of them is a uh, dark chocolate peanut butter, one is a dark chocolate hazelnut, and one is a milk chocolate mocha. Are you feeling confident tonight? I'm a little bit overwhelmed right now, Chef. Overwhelmed? But all my bases are almost done chilling. Mm -hmm. uh, young lady, chef. you can't let that one little defeat yes, um, get you down. Now, big deep breath, composure. <laughs> Stay on top of it. Yes, Chef. Good luck. Thank you. Who's vulnerable tonight? Oh, I think Iran. She's lost her confidence. She's in a funk. Never been in a pressure test. So, I mean, talk about being at a disadvantage. Cutter also. Every time Cutter has cooked a dessert, he's landed up right on the bottom. I don't think today will be any exception. Cutter, for me, is the one that's going to come back strong. He's a Watch. No, he's not. Okay, work. Ain't going to work. How's Leslie doing back? Uh, it's doing good. The more pressure tests that Leslie's in, the better he performs. Yep. He's becoming an animal of the pressure test. Yeah. It's not getting hard enough. <laughs> Eight minutes to go. Christine, what's yes. the plan? This look a little inconsistent. What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, I know. I think you're a little behind, Christine. I am a little behind. You gotta have them in here, gorgeous yeah, and ready to go in like eight minutes. I have more in the in the blast oh, tray. Yeah. Let's get it down. Let's okay, go. Okay, thank you. Nine stunning truffles have got to be in the box. Let's go, guys. One minute left. Come on. Freezing touches make that box look beautiful. They look great, Christine. Oh, God, thank you. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Hands in the air. Nine stunning truffles have got to be in the box. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Hands in the air. Right, all of you, very carefully, please bring your boxes of chocolates down to the front. I am not happy with my chocolates at all, so I'm a little bit scared. I'm literally praying, oh, please be good enough that I don't get my ass chewed. It's time to taste your chocolates and find out who will be leaving the MasterChef kitchen tonight. Cutter. We'll be honest with each other, right? The last few weeks have not been going too well. Before I open it, what's your assessment? Would you say? One to ten, in all honesty. I'd say about a seven or eight. I hope. Really? Here we go. Wow.
Is that a good wow or a bad wow? Visually, these are a 10. Wow. Thank you. You guys see that from up there? Yes. Yeah, they look great. Who's surprised that Cutter made these? <laughs> Tell me the flavors. OK, so I have mint infused dark chocolate with a peppermint coating. And then I have two milk chocolate infused with orange liqueur. One's got white chocolate shavings with orange zest. And then I did a toasted coconut. So what should I try first? I like truffles for after dinner. And so I would go with the mint to freshen my breast so I can kiss the girls. Just please be good on the inside. It's like a Christmas ornament. Nice and fudgy. It's perfectly balanced. The peppermint candy on the outside is a great foil for that creaminess of the actual ganache. I don't think you could have done it any better. Good Thank job. You. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, is this like the new cutter we're going to see here going forward, or is this just a uh, one-time deal? Even though y'all have been hard on me, I've tried to pay attention to what y'all say. I'm hoping this uh, is my rebound. Rebounding in a box of chocolates. Who would have ever thought, Cutter? Right. Great flavor. The orange infusion is very sophisticated. Tastes like something you get from a real chocolatier. Good job. Thank you. Personally, I think Joe and Graham are full of crap. I mean, they look like you. Clumsy. Sir. Just kidding, Cutter. They look great. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> You want me to die right here? Finally! <laughs> Man! Mmm. Uh, delicious. Great texture. Smooth. And the only thing I want to do now is eat another one. Thank you, Chef. This is an amateur competition, and you've just created a box of chocolates at a professional level. Thank you very great much. Great job. Thank you. Good job, man. So, Christian, let's see what we have. This is an eggnog brandy truffle. This right here is your bacon-covered truffle. And this is your chocolate-covered pretzel truffle. So, which one should I try? The pretzel. I would love for you to this try This one here? Yes. The ganache is nice. It's a good flavor. Mm -hmm. I love pretzels. What I would have done, a larger mm -hmm. chop on them. Yes. Just on the outside. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Big Willie. Yes, Chef. A master in desserts, as I'm expecting a box of fireworks over there. <laughs> wow. Huh? You have a dark chocolate with tagarashi seasoning topped with flake salt. And then the other one, you have a milk chocolate with habanero peppers with mm -hmm. sprinkles and coconut. Come on, those losses. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Let's get one thing right. What is that? I love color, chef. Do you love color or you're color blind? Willie, seriously, why so heavy handed? That's what I'm getting at. You, know, you spoil the texture with the sprinkles. Yeah. The ganache, love that heat. Love that. What a shame. One of the best flavor combinations of the evening. However, the dress that you wrapped it up in, wrong fit. OK, tell me, what did you make for us? I did a milk chocolate hazelnut truffle, a dark chocolate peanut butter pretzel truffle, and a coffee mocha truffle. Which one is this one? That's the hazelnut truffle. Hazelnut? Yeah. Did you use the same ganache for all of them? No, I used different bases. That one is the milk chocolate one. It's very rich. Yeah. I guess truffles are supposed to be rich. It's not bad. A little dense. Could be lighter. Leave it at that. Leslie. Yes. Right. Leslie's romantic box of chocolates. Wow. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. Leslie's romantic box of chocolates. 
Wow. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. Describe your uh, box of chocolates, please. Um, there's three different types of chocolate. There's a dark chocolate and a coconut milk chocolate and then white chocolate. These things were supposed to be romantic. Yours look like they'd be molded from your armpits. <laughs> Guilty as charged. I messed up. That's the white chocolate. I put white ginger powder in them and some coffee just to enhance the flavor. The white chocolate, I like that. But it's that shell on the outside. Yes. A little bit too thick, a little bit too crunchy. Um, it's the box of chocolates you need to eat in the dark. Yeah? Yes. Sorry. It's got a great flavor on the inside. Totally do not like the raw coconut. But the thing is, they look really bad. OK, Christine. What are the flavors? A sea salt, dark chocolate truffle, coffee and cinnamon chocolate truffle, and a almond crunch truffle. Why didn't you make them round? You're so close, but you stopped short of that. They could be rounder. You're right. Super bitter. OK. Really bitter. Try it. It's a little bitter. Disappointing. Sorry. Christine, this one is? That's the coffee cinnamon. And what's that on the outside? Almond dust and cocoa nibs. What, like raw cocoa nibs? Uh, yes. Truffle should delight me. Cocoa nibs are really bitter. You have to use them with extreme caution. What a shame. Well, that was clearly a very challenging pressure test. Excuse us, because we've got some big decisions to make. Great job. Good job, bro. First off, cut us with Amazing. You see, miracles happen, even here in the MasterChef kitchen. You got this. Iran's were kind of a sluggish start. They weren't perfect. They weren't bad. And Willie's, all well, the flavors were good, the aesthetics were lacking. Yeah. Christian's, Christian's were uh, a little dry. Christine was missing the whole boat. I don't think she tasted them. They were just bitter. Yeah. But look at Leslie. Those things were the ugliest things that we've seen. This is crazy. OK, Cutter, step forward. So I've made no secret of the fact that I've doubted your ability to create quality food. But when I am wrong, I will admit it. And tonight, you proved me wrong. Thank you, sir. Take your box of chocolates, go up to the balcony, and have your fellow contestants have a taste of success. Yes, sir. Please, go. head to the balcony. Good job. The shock of the season. I want to chocolate. Look at that. Wow, buddy. Obviously, Cutter was way above the rest of the class tonight. And the following three people, please step forward. Big Willie, Aran, and Christian. These chocolate truffles tripped you all up in various ways. Luckily tonight, two people fell much harder than you did. You are all safe. Please head to the balcony. I am really relieved to be sent upstairs, because honestly, today was a disaster. It's like a nightmare just ended. Christine and Leslie, two completely different boxes of chocolate. One looks pretty decent, but tastes inadequate. One looks a mess, but tastes pretty decent. The person leaving the MasterChef kitchen tonight, that person is Christine. We are as shocked as you are. Leslie, say goodbye to Christine and head up to the balcony, please. Sorry. Christine, we found the chocolates to be 
bitter beyond belief. The ratios were unbalanced and the contrast didn't work. Come and say goodbye, Danny, please. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Man, 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 man. Uh, take a look up there. The top 11. Who do you think is going to win MasterChef? My girl, Iran. Iran. Keep your head up high. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Thank Great you. job, Good night, Christine. I love you, Christine. There are no words to describe how disappointed and frustrated I am with myself. Christine. I still can't believe that I was cooking in the presence of culinary excellence. Congratulations. Sure. Well done. I'm just honored to have been here. I expected a lot, and you delivered a lot. Thank you. And I look forward to using the knowledge and the momentum I've gained here. Give it up! And entering into the culinary world. Next week on MasterChef. Tonight's challenge is all about choice. We double down on a mystery box challenge, and the home cooks light up the kitchen. We're kind of firing on all cylinders here. It's a great dish. It's perfect. This can be in any restaurant. For me, the best dish that you've cooked so far in this competition. Only 11 remain. Who will make this season's top 10? Somebody is going home tonight. Make sure it's not you. Oh, I'm definitely making the top 10. One potato, two potato.